Let's take a look now at how the markets are performing on this Tuesday afternoon. The Johannesburg Stock Exchange has continued to post some recovery from Friday's market sell-off on the news of the new COVID-19 variant Omicron being detected in South Africa. Portfolio Manager at Vestec, Michael Traherne, joins me now to have a look at the latest in the markets, including the unemployment statistics. A very good afternoon to you, Mr. Traherne. Good to have you with us. So what exactly is driving market performance this afternoon? Yeah, afternoon, uh, Tommy. It's uh, after having a slow start this morning, the JSC is uh, inched into the green, uh, currently up 0.06%. Um, it looks like global markets are still trying to decide uh, how they feel about this new variant. Um, is it as bad as everyone thinks? Um, will the, will, or will it go past and it will get past this, this without uh, too much trouble? Uh, helping sentiment is news from the vaccine makers that they should have vaccines ready by January next year, if need be. So uh, markets had a very, very strong day yesterday, and we're slightly in the green this morning. So let's talk about uh, unemployment and the unemployment rate now. What has stood out for you in the unemployment figures that just came out, and how are the markets expected to react? I'd say there weren't any major shocks in the unemployment data. Um, you know, the, the data itself is depressing to read. Uh, we hit a record high of 34.9% unemployment, and that jumps all the way to 46% um, if we include uh, discouraged work seekers, and that's, that's very disheartening, I think, uh, for people living in South Africa, but also as for, for investors. Uh, what has happened is that in the formal sector, the formal sector lost 570,000 jobs in its last quarter. Um, and that was across all industries except the, the finance industry. And that uh, points to uh, unskilled workers having the toughest time to find jobs. Uh, to be working in the finance industry, you need some form of education and some form of skills. And uh, that's the biggest part of our economy, and it seems to be the only part of the economy really growing. So uh, the divide between skilled labor and unskilled labor just keeps getting wider, and uh, I think it's going to be tough to, to bridge that gap. Let's take a look at IO Technology Solutions for a moment. They've released their financial performance for the year. How did they perform? Uh, Tommy, I haven't looked at IO, but I have looked at First Rand. Um, I thought they were a more known brand to your viewers. Uh, First Rand is saying that their, their uh, profits are up 30% this year. That's because uh, they've seen fewer bad debts uh, than expected. That's good news. Uh, they've also seen an increase in uh, consumer consumption. That's also good news. Uh, what isn't good news is they haven't seen much movement from the corporate space. Um, and that's an area that we desperately need uh, moving uh, to, to create employment and create GDP growth. Michael Traherne, thank you so much for today's market update. That's market, uh, Michael Traherne, rather. He is Portfolio Manager at Vestec. Thank you for your time once again, sir.